what's up what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is billy my channel is at women together um thank you for supporting the channel thank you for subscribing make sure that you subscribe if you haven't um, make sure they follow me on instagram at women together i share a lot of resources and just some really good information in short form um, as i do in youtube and longer form so anyway, today we'll be covering five ways to break into cybersecurity, um, not just the normal ways, but ways that are going to give you the experience that you need, that you need to get on your resume and that employers are looking for so that you can enter the field, um, whether that be an entry level position, um, you transitioning through your job or just uh, networking or however um, you get in. But once you're in, like you're good and you can move throughout tech in any area or domain that you choose but first we got to get in so in today's video again we're going to cover some um, proven strategies that will help you um, so let's get to it like of course we're aware that the um, cybersecurity industry or career industry is very competitive right now the word has gotten out that uh, cyber is the future of careers and sustainability and financial growth and just a lot of amazing things that come with working in tech and cybersecurity in general. And so um, we understand in order to get a job, employers are asking for experience. Even with entry level positions, they're like, we need you to have so much experience, but how do you gain that? And so uh, the first way that you gain experience is to develop a home lab, right? Um, you can do that with a virtual home lab environment where you create um, a lab environment where you can go ahead and do projects and things that will prepare you for the career field that you're looking at. Whatever job title you're looking for, um, whatever is required in that position, those are the projects that you need to be doing within your virtual home lab. Um, I created a course called cyberlearninglabs.net that actually took, walked you through the steps of creating your virtual lab environment and provide projects for you to get the experience. Um, you get experience with Linux, Ubuntu, you get experience with um, uh, different ethical hacking um, exercises. You also get some cybersecurity training within the uh, course. So check that out. Um, I've got a lot of students that have enrolled and they love it. And I would love for you to join too so that you can get experience because that's why I created the program um, for experience, uh, number one, because that's where a lot of um, these programs lack is making sure that you can actually get your foot in the door and put something on your resume. All right, so uh, number one, that was building a home lab environment that you can practice on. Okay, so next, uh, number two, uh, another way to gain experience to get into the cyber field is to do volunteer work. And I know, I know you probably heard this already, but uh, doing volunteer work is a major win, you guys. If you can find a small business, um, a church, a local uh, community, someone in your community that is of need for a tech role, networking, you can do some networking work uh, at a small business or for someone, you can do something cybersecurity related. You can do things like conduct a basic uh, firewall assessment of a customer's network. You can set up firewall or antivirus software. You can create a basic incident response plan for a small business, you guys. And you can also educate staff on uh, best security practices. If you've been teaching and learning cybersecurity yourself and you have the knowledge, you can go ahead and transfer that knowledge onto others and use that experience and put that on your resume in order for you to uh, get in, get into the field. All right, so number three is going to be internships. And I know you're probably aware of this one as well, but I just wanted to give you a little more context behind it. Internships um, are not that hard to find, you guys. You can Google internships in your area or virtual internships that are related to whatever skill set that you're going towards or internships for just tech in general. You may have to just start with foundational tech career skills and 
even if you can't go directly into cybersecurity. So find something uh, network related, computer technician, computer support, help desk, internships like that are going to give you invaluable experience that you can put on your resume. Number four, that one of this should probably be number one, but certifications and certificates, number one certifications. We all know the CompTIA Security Plus 701 version certification is going to uh, give you an edge against those that don't have it. Let's just start there because some people are asking like, do I need a certification? Do I need this? Do I need that? Uh, do as much as you can. Get the certifications, get the certificates, get the experience, get the, uh, the knowledge, the skills, get the time in, spend your time gaining the skills, gathering the knowledge, get your, uh, just do as much as you can, you guys, to get closer to your goal. Okay, so number five, which is extremely powerful as well, and that's networking. And that's been key for me within my cybersecurity career. Networking has been huge, and I'll have to share that story one day because it continues. Networking has been pivotal from my throughout my entire career from working in real estate to tech and moving throughout tech into where I am now. And I've got to share this story one day, um, but anyhow for you. So networking with others, joining communities, joining organizations, and just telling people what you're up to, what you're looking, what you're learning, what you're learning to become, branding yourself as you're networking and, and engaging genuinely with others, asking questions and following up and, and, and sharing your knowledge and sharing how you can assist others. Don't just go out there and always ask and asking and asking. Also think of what you can give the other person it's probably going to make them uh, more susceptible to respond to you if you're offering while you're asking as you're moving throughout on your tech journey. You guys, so that was five, uh, five ways that you can move forward within your pursuit of a career in tech cybersecurity specifically. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, my name is Billy. Follow me, subscribe to my page. Follow me on Instagram at women tech together and make sure that you support the channel make sure you keep following i wish you the best keep studying you got this and i've got more to come see you soon